So we are live, finally live for another amazing panel discussion. It's so lively and a very good evening. As you can see, I have three amazing personalities on screen and we had a whole a long of a day. But this day is more enlightened with this amazing conversation evening. On panel, I have two amazing uh, panelists. Uh, let me introduce about them. Before that, let me tell you uh, about what exactly our topic is going to be. How good design can change consumers' perception. That's what the highlight topic is. And for that, I have our moderator, Dhriti, who will be uh, taking on the conversation with, of course, our panelist, Mr. Rajat Sinha and uh, Surbhi Kanjilal. Uh, I'll tell you more about who our panelists are. Uh, before that, just wanted to highlight certain things, what this conversation is going to be all about. Well, consumer perception and designs are two correlative things. Uh, if you want a, a proper... Uh, product uh, which has to uh, pursue any kind of uh, conceiveness, then it can make them see it in new light and even it can make them buy if a consumer gets attracted to any kind of variety or change they see on a product. This esteem organization which I have invited on this panel, they are going to tell you about the strategies and the implementations and executions they have implied in their organizations and they have seen in the market which has helped various products to get an esteemed environment. Moving ahead, let me introduce our panelist, Rajat Sinha. He is product manager for London. Rajat, it's lovely to have you this evening and thank you for being a part of this panel. And uh, on the other end, we have Surbi Kanjilal, head of marketing, reliance, general insurance. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for being a part of this conversation. And to moderate the whole conversation, we have Dhriti Goyal, senior manager and product marketing at uh, Pepper Content. Dhriti, looking forward to have uh, this conversation, a precise overview of how good design changes the perspective of a consumer towards a product and the attractiveness of a product. Thank you and uh, you guys, all the best. Thanks, Gaurav, Thanks, for the introduction. Um, well, uh, okay, so maybe we should then get started. I think the first question is very interesting and very uh, something which I like to know more from the marketers, as, as many marketers as me. So, uh, so can you tell us your favorite campaign, which you think has helped the brand change its image amongst its target audience? So I think this question, both of you can take a dig on. Uh, so uh, I, I, I will, I will, I'll go first, Rajat. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I think, uh, see, Dhriti, um, to be very honest, there have been so many campaigns since the time uh, in the last decade, especially. Uh, with, uh, you know, the digital first brands going up and about spending a lot of money with respect to gaining mindshare, that a lot of innovative work has been done in the marketplace. But um, I would like to just go rewind a lot back. And, uh, you know, some of the really uh, initial starters that have uh, done something mind blowing, almost, uh, you know, kind of building their own niche uh, with a particular campaign uh, was Indigo. If you if you remember, I think in 2010, 11, when Indigo had launched this massive campaign about, you know, um, go back home to sleep with your wife. I mean, that was uh, something which I think nobody in India at that time or in the previous two decades has actually done. Um, when it just comes to, um, you know, design language, I think Indigo has been one of the pioneers of setting, uh, you know, benchmark in terms of how design language should be followed across different product categories uh, from not just the airlines to the magazine, to the seat covers, to the cashew, um, you know, uh, peanut boxes. I think everything uh, that the airline has carries a sense of what exactly they mean or envision with respect to the brand. Um, their campaigns are bold, massy, uh, very, very, uh, you know, minimalistic in their approach and yet very direct. So I, I kind of, I mean, my personal favorite has been uh, Indigo. So yeah, I mean, uh, in terms of being an old school brand advocate, I would love to share that awesome awesome that's really beautiful i i should go back and check it again now yeah Rajat, how about you yeah i think so uh that's a brilliant example uh that should be gave right uh, so i'll try to find something that is very recent 
And one of one example that I have is how Grofers changed from Grofers to Blinkit, right? And uh, the entire uh, it's and since I come from a product background, it's not just the campaigns that I saw before the product, but also throughout the product uh, journey that uh, you know Grofers and Blinkit now uh, actually adapted. Sure, they uh, took the value proposition of Zepto and you know uh, implied in the product of 10 minutes delivery. But the execution of that entire value proposition was so brilliant uh, that you know people actually forgot Grofers. People suddenly found this new brand that they loved uh, to order their groceries from, especially in a very competitive market of uh, you know grocery delivery today, where there's a there was a Zomato, there's a Swiggy, there was a Big Basket, uh, there's a Zepto, right? One thing that I found uh, truly amazing, uh, and I mean uh, that, and I also think that every brand should kind of follow is that not only the promise that you are, uh, you know, doing giving to the customer, but also standing on that promise. And I think because of that, Blinkit became a really, uh, you know, household name in terms of ordering groceries today. So they delivered on that promise, which I think is super amazing uh, on their part. And if you look at it. From the uh, from the time they chose the name Blinkit, where you know uh, if you you know in the split of a second your grocery is going to be delivered, uh, towards choosing the color of the brand, which is so youthful, so vibrant, so new age, and then of course the uh, overall UI of the uh, application is also that amazing that you you actually feel like okay my groceries are going to be delivered right now. So yeah, I love that. I love how they completely pivoted their business model uh, how, and how they adapted that across all their campaigns, including the product and the final execution of the business. So that's one example that I really love. Awesome. So talking about uh, uh, like, you know, Blinkit, Zepto, one thing which came to my mind was that few months back, uh, Swiggy uh, changed the whole UI of the app. Now it's more new age. They have so many uh, things like before it was just the delivery and then subtly they have added Instamart, Genie and so many things. How, what is your, uh, like, what are your thoughts about it since you are also product manager yourself? So what were they trying to do? And also, don't you think, I think this whole change of the uh, like app, isn't it confusing for folks like to go through it because it was so easy that you go on the you know app and you just see everything and now you have to choose where you have to go and everything so what what do you think right. about that so uh what i honestly love the way swiggy incorporated all of these features into the application is that they launched one thing at a time and mm -hmm. it was very timely you know, there was a time where we want to get something delivered to people in the same city and there was no other option available, right? And that's why they launched Genie, right? Mm -hmm. So the time of that execution as well as the way they executed it was super awesome. One of the reasons, one of the things that I also noticed is that the first time you used Genie, right, they took you through that entire journey of how it's going to function. Mm -hmm. So the first attempt of anyone trying was so smooth and so informative that people actually started to recall that again and again that okay it makes sense uh, it's point a to point b and i'm going to have anything delivered right uh, along with that since we are talking about you know uh, how uh, you know how you can change the uh, user perception through uh, you know various as various ways one amazing thing is that uh, you, your user experience. If your user experience actually is super uh, easy to use, no matter what you launch, people are going to be using it, right? Plus, you'll obviously have to deliver on that promise, like I said, in terms of Blinkit, and that's what Swiggy was able to deliver. Uh, and right after that, if you look at even today, uh, how they launched Instamart, after Genie was launched, they launched Instamart, and it was an experimental product for them initially. They tested it out. They figured whether you know how people are giving their feedback to. Now it became part of their entire uh, you know navigation. So yes. once they knew that people are using it and people are loving it, they started implementing it across the channel and made it very simple and easy for the users to use. So okay. user experience is definitely important for you to actually make people believe that this application is able to deliver what you're expecting it to. Awesome. Uh, coming to that, so we uh, when any product or any company tries to you know change like this was a big change for Swiggy app. Uh, where does marketing plays a role and how much say they should have while they are rejigging the whole thing and how collaboratively they should work together in terms of design or communication to you know get their audience on board. 
uh see um very rightfully i think uh, uh you know rajat had explained how uh, well swiggy did and how slow and steady you know first there was a beta and then you know from local and then they started growing from different uh, you know geographies to different markets right uh it is very important for a brand you know especially now because uh, most brands are uh, you know digital first which is which is primarily uh something to say that you know uh my tech or my ui comes first to the user it's not the experience that i take first it's the application or the interface that i use first or the interaction that a consumer has with the brand or the product so there is no physical uh, delivery per se or the physical experience that a person has with swiggy first than what it has with the product so i think uh, what is more and more critical for brands to realize is that it is not about you know whether the product should be given more importance or the design language should be treated in a different way i think you should have a language which speaks directly to your consumer yeah. you know so whether it is it is an app like housing.com or whether it is an app like swiggy or whether we are talking about cred for that example i think everybody has tried to uh, bring in aspects what the user is looking at see when it comes to ui uh, if i need to use a product irrespective if the ui is might be a little glitchy here or there i might still go for it like for example very different apples to oranges comparison we compared swiggy we can go to ircdc.com it's one of the most um, i wouldn't say it's one of the most uh, uh, you know uh, you know easy applications to use True. but i think because i have to book a train ticket i don't have an alternative i have okay. to use a product right now if if i have to pay my credit card bills now there are a lot many but i'm talking about say 3 years before or 4 years before when cred was recently launched in respect of how the ui looked i had to still uh, you know pay my credit card bills through it because i was earning for all points through it right so i think products have to speak the language that the consumers need to know or need to attract them to so your marketing challenge doesn't get solved at the juncture where the consumer interacts but sticks on with it later on you know not just with the what the customer experiences with the app but how does the delivery happen what kind of a package is it going into is the delivery person wearing the sweatshirt not wearing the sweatshirt carrying so there are lot of things that a marketing person needs to hold together than what just the person sees on the application so it's a two way street no communication today is is without the consumer pehle kya hota tha brands used to have a one way communication with users mm-hmm. you know they used to just say ki okay uh, you know i am britannia i have launched this biscuit this is going to create a very good wonderful day for you you know that's a one one sided communication these days brands have become two way you know the communication is from the consumer with the advent of social media and the kind of influencer marketing or the you know the pump up that we have seen mm-hmm. especially after the pandemic i think uh, the 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 bargain on the consumer side has become much more higher so it's what okay. the marketing team and the product team have to come together for any brand and do what the consumers want them to do well that's rightly said um okay so you've worked with a range of brands from the likes of ola to panasonic and now in uh, reliance general insurance uh would love to uh, know if there's any particular instance or any campaign where you think design played a really important role to attract your that particular sector of audience you were targeting to uh see um whenever uh, we talk about design right mm when you inherit a brand like for example when you are a part of a company which has a, a you know global design language like you work with an mnc you definitely have a global design language in which your role becomes more and more uh, to you know kind of create sustenance with it or create a uh, make sure that it's always in sync with the global guidelines or whether you know the brands that you took name like panasonic or any one of them So um I we had the creative mandate of Panasonic some really long time back like 7 8 years back right 
uh when you talk about indian brands right uh, especially the example that i gave whether it was indigo whether you know the flip cards or creds or swiggies for that matter uh the kind of brand that i recently have been able to uh, you know shift the perception was with rgi itself reliance general mm-hmm. the idea here is that um when 3 years back we evaluated the brand we did a brand uh, perp study and uh, we kind of understood that uh, you know insurance is the most uh, cluttered space when it comes to understanding or recognizing so you know while people would have a top of mind of reliance because of the brand name reliance they don't know what what insurance do they sell whether it is life whether it is health whether it is motor and what is the difference from one's imagery to the others like for example i showed the same creative to two different individuals of 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 one another insurance company and mine uh customers didn't know what are we talking about who are we talking about we just took this policy we don't know much about it because see insurance is still a very physical distribution driven uh, industry a lot of it is that driven by agents in the in the local geographies right Nice. so what happens is that when you have to create that distinctiveness with your brand it becomes a huge challenge when the entire industry is operating separately so we decided to give a different real with a visual identity of the company so instead of carrying forward that you know happy family of four you know which kind of demonstrates you know how insurance protects or giving them an umbrella or showing a doctor around them we kind of changed the entire design to a visual 3d design we created a different world like uh, you know i i would not uh, say that we were not inspired by what vodafone did with zuzus but it was a different world that we created so if you see our design language in the last 3 years we have maintained we have created and we have sustained a very different body of uh, creative work in the last 3 years we have kind of made sure that we have shown a very different perspective to audience you know because at the end of the day you know the audience has grown we are no longer or our parents are no longer the ones who are buying insurance policies it's a very millennial population which interacts with the new age brands day in and out they looking at a happy family of you know the father buying a policy and the mother adhering to what the policy is bought for is very cliche for them Okay. they want something which talks a very new age language just tell them you are on your own buy your own policy make it so and it needs to reflect not just in you know a uh, copy or not just in you know the way we speak but everything you know from the ca- way in which we communicate to the audience the emailers that we send or the application that we build or the social media that we have i think everything requires me to overhaul and kind of bring uh a fair facade to people which they can relate to and differentiate me so tomorrow when somebody looks at my brand mascot or the 3d world uh, and says okay this is grower oh this i know because this is reliance you know that is the kind of feeling that we are trying to create and uh, yes there's a lot of work still left i think <laughs> yes <laughs> that's really interesting to know uh, well uh, rajar coming to you now i i have seen or uh, mostly it's like a stereotype that creative like the folks who are designers or who are creator they are very finicky and they have a certain way to do things and if you try to you know put them in a cage that do it this way only it becomes very irritating for them in fact in one of our last uh, sessions uh, somebody said that creators are not monogamous to any brand so in that case as a product manager how do you ensure that your product designer understands the audience that well and create uh, the product for them and not to satiate his own or her own uh, desires or creativity right i think that is the toughest question to answer <laughs> for sure uh, so i personally have worked uh, with de- designers of different types be it for social media creative designers or be it for you know be it user experience designers right um what is really important is that uh, you kind of bring them on board with your idea and uh, your thought process you need to include them in your overall strategic journey as well right you just can't think of something at the beginning and just pass it on saying okay now be design karo aisa nahi ho sakta right uh, so there are two three aspects to it first uh, it's important that 
you as a product manager because I, i'll give an example of a product design uh what you can do is you can kind of create your guidelines at the very beginning right and uh, be it from a design language perspective uh you know you can decide whether you want to go with material design human design guidelines any of that or anything completely different you want to try something very experimental like probably what cred did uh, earlier or maybe what they are doing right right now right that's a call that you can take at the very early stages you can also decide the kind of typography you're going to use you can decide on the color scheme that you're going to use uh the kind of design uh elements that you'll use be it icons images all of that needs to happen early on uh, along with the designer it just can't be a decision that you take because we are not supposed to be the design uh, owners right we're supposed to be product uh, owners correct however what is very important i think sulvi also mentioned is that you first need to understand who the target audience is going to be the way today for example in lending club we have two sets of customers one is a borrower who is looking for a loan the other one is an investor who is looking to invest right very different mindset very different guidelines that uh, and you know user experience that they follow but this within the investor segment also there are multiple sub segments there could be someone who's just getting into investment there's somebody who is investing other otherwise but not maybe into p2p so you know define the target audience very well and uh, so i was working with a you know a, a product design agency and what we used to do is we used to have the designer collaborate with us in this entire research process we used to have them create user personas we used to work with them we used to talk to real customers and get their feedback and you know whether they feel uh, is important or not important so all of these things has to happen before the product design actually starts or any design starts to be very honest right so once you do that the rest becomes very easy right because now you have involved them in the entire process of strategic uh, static uh, strategically figuring out who the customer is what they want uh, of course from a product perspective there will be a lot of features that i want to be built but how the uh, user is going to use that feature is something we should let the designer decide and of course we can have a collaborative approach and figure out you know what is best or what is not best uh, maybe i can give one more example uh, so uh, recently we started working on a concept called sprint where uh, it's a five day process and what we do is uh, you know because when you are working on something there are a lot of opinions that comes i feel this is good he feels this is good you know a lot of things happen so the fastest way of getting something validated is through customers how can you go to the customers at the earliest possible and get their feedback from every perspective be it uh, you know marketing materials be it any type of product design user experience design so we work on this uh, process for four days we create prototype uh, images image based prototype not actual products and on the fifth day we talk to real customers we get so uh, we had this uh, last week itself where we talked to real people and we walked them through the prototype and got their feedback and you would not believe but uh, our initial thoughts and what these what the feedback we received from real people real investors was very very different right so what just happened is that you can actually validate your hypothesis designers can validate their hypothesis we can validate our hypothesis that's that's i think the best way of going about uh, designing anything uh, which should be very collaborative and should have a planned way of uh, you know uh, going forward so well, that's really interesting to know and uh, i really like the concept of sprint obviously and i actually believe that uh, design is one thing on which everyone has an opinion and you cannot cater to everyone's opinion that's the biggest problem <laughs> okay yeah. uh well uh, i really i i'm really loving this session i don't want it to get over but i'm getting time checks from everywhere so sadly we have to finish this but it was lovely talking to you the kind of perspective i, I never thought that having a product manager and a head of marketing uh is going to be so interesting because i generally so i am in product marketing and i keep seeing uh, product managers uh, you know go against marketing folks and marketing folks against product but yeah it's really interesting to have you both and most of it was on page for like you both were aligned on lot many things so which is more interesting thank you so much for your time today it was a lovely session i learned a lot personally and uh, yes thank you so much have a great evening guys and- Likewise, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Before we leave, uh, of course, the most, uh, the biggest USP any product can have is the attractive packaging which it has and the way it is displayed. And all you have uh, said about is how your product can be an X factor and USP with the differentiation factor which you 
have to put in your product and that is what uh, you know uh, strategizing uh, and the, the display quality is all about uh, thank you for this lovely conversations i don't think you have missed any of the q and a over here there were many highlighted q and a uh, driti ji has mentioned everything perfectly so thank you guys thank you so much surbi thank you so much rajat and driti yes of course i am very grateful and it's it was a lovely conversation thank you and see you soon ahead